Right, it's now time for our self-care series brought to you by Big Soleil. Every society in the world exists within a set of guidelines and rules to facilitate and harmonize coexistence. Now, these are posed as a set of values and beliefs, and life coach Anne Renee Rousseau is here to help put into perspective the importance of both. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> I mean, I love this topic of discussion. Firstly, because sometimes when you look at how or what's happening in the world, really, and how people believe, I always say, oh, it seems as though the world is in a state of moral decay. So to get to that, well, we're getting there. What exactly is the difference between values and beliefs? Right. Um, let's start off with a belief. Okay. A belief is an acceptance that something is. Okay, okay, so that something can be anything. Yeah. And I'm going to give you an example. So let's say like a personal belief. I can believe that I speak well. So yeah. I believe I speak well. I can believe that I don't have confidence. Yeah. We've also got global beliefs. So we can believe that all South Africans like rugby. Yeah. An important fact about a belief is it's something that we learn. Okay. We are taught to believe in a specific way. Yeah. And I want to give you an example. So let's say that when you were little and whenever you were upset, your mom said to you, oh, come darling, let's just go get some ice cream. Yeah. In your mind, you're going to be thinking, <laughs> okay, whenever I'm upset, all I need to do is get ice cream. Ice cream is going to solve my problem. Yeah. And that's not really the oh, case. Oh, that's maybe where it all went wrong in my life. <laughs> it becomes a belief. Yeah. So values are a little bit different. Values is all about what's important to me. Okay. What I feel is important. And a value is something that you really are not able to live without. Yeah. So a belief is something that you've learned throughout your life. Yeah. And a value is something within that you can't live without. These are one of those topics of conversation that I love to overthink because if you consider the perspective of religion, one person will believe that, another person will believe that, another religious group will believe that. All of them are true in those that believe them yes, and in exactly. the minds and hearts and souls of those who believe them. What other kind of belief is there? So how do we differentiate and kind of, how do we get along if our beliefs are different? Well, I think the first thing about beliefs is that you need to be able to challenge it. Okay. Even though you've believed that ice cream is going to solve your problem, <laughs> um, you it's need usually to be... cheese. <laughs> Maybe a bit of wine. <laughs> Maybe a bit of wine. <laughs> you need to really challenge that belief yeah. to say, is it really serving me? Yeah. You need to look quite deep and get that answer to it. Yeah. Um, so to be able to loosen a belief or to um, like debarrel it, to yeah. find almost like a new belief. What you're going to do with that belief is you're going to add doubt. Yeah. You're going to find ways to doubt that belief. Yeah. And then you're going to add a new belief. So going back to the ice cream thing, instead of saying, you know, oh, ice cream, I believe that ice cream is going to make me feel better. Yeah. That's why I'm going to eat it. You can say, Nick, next time you're upset, you're going to say, actually, I don't need ice cream. I've got this. Yeah. You know, this is under control. Yeah. So what happens, I mean, do people all need beliefs within a community and within a societal structure? And what happens if someone has no values? What does that mean? I think that's actually impossible because everybody... Oh, you should meet my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Not one value there. <laughs> <laughs> I finally love that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think even your ex-boyfriend, believe it or not, he's got to have some sense of values. Yeah. It might not be a value that you like. No. It might be something that you don't like. Um, yeah. And I can actually give you an example, if I may, yeah, you know, please. where, where the, the values um, become such an important part. So let's say we've got person A and person B. Yeah. And person A values is like love and connection and commitment and yeah. conversation, where person B's values are are success, power, achievement, yeah. go-getter. Okay? Yeah. So now person B contacts person A and says, hi, listen, I'm not going to make dinner. Don't wait up for me. I'm really, really busy. I've got this deadline. It needs to happen. Yeah. Person A is going to hear, you don't love me. The relationship's in trouble. There's nothing that you want anymore. You're not prepared to talk yeah. to me. So they're going to be stressing out. Yeah. Now imagine if person A had person B's values. The answer would be, don't worry, honey, you go get it. 
get the promotion, get whatever you want. Yeah. Because they've got the same values, yeah. there's an understanding. I suppose the secret to life is literally just to just take time for yourself then. Figure out what your beliefs and values are because then maybe perhaps you can compromise. Exactly. And, and accept and understand somebody else's. Yes, Thank I you so much for that. being here yes, today. Thank you. <laughs> so it's our belief that it's your time to shine. So listen up because you stand the chance to win a big Soleil product hamper filled with all of the essentials to keep you looking and feeling your best. All you have to do is visit the Afternoon Express page, reply to the competition post by telling us what do you do when taking time out for yourself during the day and you could be our lucky winner. So vast rate supply, T's and C's apply. Visit afternoonexpress.co.za to find them. Oh, thank you. Make this summer your time to shine with Big Soleil.